Ah, yes, Tarnished. The adventure continues. Why do I sound like an old man? <clears throat> Hopefully notifications actually go out, but haha, we are talking about YouTube. So I've been doing a few things here and there off camera. Not really anything super crazy. Oh, hey guys. Notifications actually went out. Sweet. Um, well, uh, what were the big things I needed to catch you guys up on? Oh, I finally have enough intelligence that I can use this, which is pretty dang cool. I don't know if I'm going to use it just because it's not particularly strong for me. It does do magic damage, which is nice. It's nice as an option, I guess. Uh, but otherwise, I'm still just sticking with my dual blades. Also, I found this item in my inventory. I didn't know you could do prop hunt in this game. <laughs> I kind of wonder whether or not that would work with an invader. Um, right, let's see, what else? Uh, I've kind of just been marking areas of interest that I know I haven't, like, completed, like this boss or this tomb over here and stuff. Um, we did that last time. Now, um, I kind of explored around the Erd tree over here in, uh, the swamp or water area or whatever. Because I wanted to take a peek and see what was in the area. And mausoleum compound. There's basically three different mausoleums, like, all compacted in this one area. Which mausoleums, uh, let you duplicate boss, uh, runes, or remembrances, sorry. Which is hilarious. Oh god, that's good coffee. Uh, we have this cave over here, and I was trying my damnedest to figure out, like, how the underground system works, because I basically can't get over to this section. Turns out that that's all intentional. Um, I've also been spending countless hours trying to get to the top half of this area, which you can see is unmarked on the map. But again, intentional, because apparently we have to beat Redan uh, in order to end up actually getting to the underground city. Uh, section, which I can't do that because I'm a physical build, so it's going to take me a very long time to beat that boss. I also started exploring the volcano a little bit here. Um, found a few caves. I still haven't found my way up to the map, which is odd, but I noticed that there was this path here, and I kind of ended up getting to a castle that's nearby and stuff, and just... Yeah, there, there's lots of cool things in that area, but I thought that we would uh, spend some time just doing some of these um, earlier caves that I hadn't done yet. I already have a full series on Dying Light, Samir. I played Dying Light all the way to the end, and then the end game is terrible, so I uh, stopped playing it. <clears throat> also, yeah, hi guys. Um... You can't play Minecraft. Why? Because of the uh, snapshot? I don't really have much interest. I knew you'd be here, you scumbag. <laughs> okay. Bloodstains are finally working for me now. They haven't been working for the longest time. Ooh, he didn't even die by the ledge. This is so sad. We should be pretty overtuned for this dungeon. Uh-huh. The only problem is the ledge itself. Whoa. That didn't... I didn't have enough poise to defend that, apparently. <clears throat> I'll do... I'll be doing a couple streams today. Uh, I have been up all night, but I kind of just took the night off to just chill and relax and stuff. So that's why we're a bit later today, even though this is actually earlier hour-wise. Through the morning... <clears throat> excuse me. Bloodstain, show me. Show me what you got. Oh, he tried to run backwards. Fool. Foolish creature. Come on. Come on, man. I know you got like a friend. Message was appraised. I got health! Oh, there you are, you scumbag. Okay. 
Time for my special technique. Oh, they baited me. Damn it. <laughs> I mean, these guys are easy enough, but uh, the main reason why, like I was talking about with the underground city, the main reason I was trying to get to that area is I know that that's where you can end up getting um, somber smithing stones, which is required for me to upgrade this Darth Maul blade, because unfortunately, even though I ended up respecking and I'm really enjoying this weapon a lot more, uh, it's pretty weak compared to my katana, just because my katana is so much higher level. So... Kind of a bit of a trade-off. Be wary of right. Uh-huh. I love how I can break their posture with that move. So long as I get the last hit to connect. Is there seriously nothing here? What's the point? Did I secretly grab stuff? Gesturing required ahead. Ooh! Well, thank you, random dude. Okay. We gotta kneel down. I've come to a few of these. Is it this one? emote? What was he using? Yeah, it is. With that many appraisals, it's gotta work. Heh. Right? Unless he's just being funny. <laughs> Okay. Uh, yes, one and only. I know that that... Okay, I think I got trolled. I know that that weapon is in the game. Uh, I am going to build towards it because it's always my favorite weapon in these FromSoft games. Uh, however, again, in order to end up actually getting it, we have to be able to get to the Eternal City, which requires me to beat Redan. And if you guys didn't catch it, basically Redan... I'm I'm convinced I might even be saying his name wrong. I think it's Redan, but he's the third lord. We're supposed to fight him. I'm convinced that nobody on the dev team tested out fighting him as a melee character. Because it's basically impossible. This looks like a trap. Hello? Ah! It is a trap. Ooh, there's just a spike wall. Wee! This might also be a trap. It's a good thing my brain is so big. Anything else around here? Probably not. I'm worried that we're going to end up fighting a crab. Or these hugging zombies. That could be even worse, potentially. These guys can end up causing you a lot of grief. And they're extremely tanky. They're very slow, but... Oh no, guys, he's coming at me. If you get caught in their grab, you're pretty basically no, nope! no, don't do it. Ugh! I didn't need an example. Oh, okay, these guys are really weak. I I thought they were gonna be stronger because of uh, I'm used to fighting the stronger version of them. Please help. What? I just got the message stone. <laughs> it says it's so cursed whenever you. Oh. Whenever you use that stone, like, it'll go like, and it just sounds so hilarious. Okay, so far it's just a crap ton of zombies. That I can deal with, because they slow, yo. Bye, guys. Uh, for me, yeah, it's 5.16 in the morning. <laughs> this is a long ladder. Is this already the door? Oh, yeah, okay. That's... Whoop. Hey, I rolled, come on. Oh, I got frame issues in this area. At least around this specific corner. That's kind of weird. Yeah, I'm not I'm not looking online to figure out like all those weapons and stuff, dude. Also, yeah, totally fine, man. You you take off. I totally get it. I'm the same way. Like I've barely looked up anything in this game. The only thing that I looked up was is the Moonlight Greatsword in the game? Yes. 
how how do you start the chain of getting it? You gotta do Rani's quest. Okay, cool. That's all the info that I want to know. I'm not interested in knowing all the best weapons in the game and all the clickbait and all the garbage out there. It's like I want to be able to play through this game myself and learn all this stuff myself. I'll uh, I'll figure out like how all that you know the end game gear and all that crap. I'll I'll find that all out like either on my own or I won't and then I'll just I don't know usually when I end up beating the game that's when I end up looking stuff up oh god well there's a cat here but he's got ads I was not really expecting another one oh my god I didn't know you were in my face ah! safety Go, oh, my child, protect. Damn it, I was trying to roll, but my animation was too long. You know what? Maybe I should just focus on the big boy. Can you not interrupt? I have, like, super high poise, but whatever. Bad kitty. Bad kitty. At least he doesn't damage me much. These guys are assholes, though. What you doing? Oh, you're dumb fire breath? Okay. Aw, oh, man. That would have been cool. Woo, that was kind of a close one. You doing it again? Really? Can you actually roll, dude? Stop, like, getting stun lock. This is dumb for all the wrong reasons, man. Can you move, man? I don't know why I'm getting stunned by these guys. They must have, like, really high, uh... Just shred through my posture. It's like, bruh, it doesn't matter that I'm wearing super, he super heavy armor. I was rolling, that's cool again. You know what, you scumbag? Thank you for the random message approval. Heck yeah, dude. All right, come on. Yeah, come on. No. Nope. I know that he turns instantaneously when he starts doing his fire breath. What you got, what you got? You gonna go on your legs? He does a one, two, three, which means I can get in a hit. Woo! He baited me. What you got, kitty? Bad kitty. I mean, this is a pretty undertuned area for me. Demi human ashes. Sweet. Sweet. Not very good. Kind of useless. <laughs> Consumes more mana. I don't know. I guess I could try this. Kind of the thing, though, is it's like... Much as I love all these dungeons and stuff, half the time it's just like, Oh, uh, what's the item you're gonna get? Magic. Something related to magic. Um... Oh, yeah. No, the... Yeah, Stolen. The game does have issues on PC. Like, I get, I get some frame dips here and there, and apparently that's, uh, I don't know. There's, like, other people online that are, like, super duper complaining about, like, man, it's unplayable, and it's like, no, it's not unplayable. It just dips every now and then, and it's annoying, but that's basically all there is to it. Why do I have a sword icon here? I have no idea. Okay, um... Let's see, where was the other area I wanted to show you guys? Oh, right, 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 okay. Uh, this will be cool. Is it here or here? I think it's over here. So, in secret, this, this, is, the, this is the advantage of um, not looking things up online, is you end up wasting hours of your time doing something uh, 
with a redundant like act over and over i saw that you could get to the bottom of stormvale castle and i spent hours this is like over the course of a couple days like just casually looking and looking and looking and looking and looking how the hell do i get down there because i didn't want to look it up online because i didn't want any spoily stuff right and i finally found it i finally cracked the case it's in the stupidest spot ever so I'll, I'll run through that with you guys i did like i did already kind of open the shortcut and everything but i just wanted to go through it just because i thought it was so cool and it was such a sense of accomplishment even though i could have very easily looked online but i did it myself this stupid ledge right here it took i i just never i never looked in that room not thoroughly because you end up just going there and well now you can kind of just make it up for yourself because it's pretty straightforward wait a minute i already took a wrong turn where the hell am i is this the way i took i'm already lost <laughs> this is a new area okay okay i no. i know that that knight can still shrek me so <laughs> okay there was somewhere else i must have taken a wrong turn but i'll i'll figure it out in a second after i deal with this asshole No. No. Don't do it. There. Bad bird. Bad bird. Can you just attack the bird once? Thank you. Jesus. Yeah. Anyways. Ah, that's right. So I didn't normally go down there. Normally you just go into that little hallway there. Okay. Anyways, let me grab this. See what this is. Oh, a lump of flesh. Hell yeah, dude. I always wanted a chunk of that stuff. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling much better today, Dennis. I, I don't know what the deal was with my mode yesterday. It was just kind of like, bleh. Oh, right, never mind. That was up for items. I've only been through here the one time, so... And I was, like, so excited. Because it took me, like, so long to find this place, dude. There's a lot of enemies in here, but I'm just gonna kind of skip them. And then there's this official message that says, you know, words of encouragement. And then I notice you can sneak your way down here. Mm-hmm. And there's like an item on that guy and you come over here and finally found my way to the stupid underground Stormvale castle. It only took me like a couple days. Uh, and then right here you open a shortcut over to the uh, side of grace. So that was very, very exciting for me. I have not gone any further because I wanted to share the experience with you guys. So let's do it and hopefully die. Oh, I thought I had the timing right on that. That guy. Oh, oh, never mind. I thought he was overtuned. A leaf, delicious. Oh God, the, yeah, yup. I knew there would be a lot of parkour around here. I just had a feeling. Leave me alone. Uh, my playtime on the game, I think I'm at about 40 hours now. Most of all because of my last, uh, my, my last session was eight hours. That was a long live stream, man. I don't think I've streamed that long for a very, if ever. I think the only other game that came that, that close to a, can you just hit him? To a live stream length was, uh, Valheim. Another one of my favorite games. Oh, Lord. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to park on my way down, don't I? Okay. I like how there's blood stains here. Wow, that was so worth it. Use me. Use me. Ooh. Uh, yes, it did. 
come out a few days ago. I don't know if you're saying that in a condescending manner or I... It's text, so I can't tell. Uh-oh, rats. Why is it always rats? Man, my favorite part of this game, though, is uh, because this game's popping off so much, the Reddit is like... I'm trying not to look at spoilers and stuff, but oh my god, the memes are just so goddamn good. They're delicious. I love them. Bad rat. Hey, voodoo. Yeah, I'm sorry if I'm not 100% paying attention, guys. Ah! For obvious reasons. I will do it again, and there's nothing you can do about it. Bad rat. <sighs> oh, okay, so you meant it the positive way. See, I didn't know if you were like, bruh, I've got like 500 hours. <laughs> that's, that's what I meant. Oh, I hear that bug. Ran Rancor call. Rancor? The Rancor's call? Excuse me? Like, is that a Star Wars reference? What? I know exactly what spell that is, by the way. Um, but no, honestly, I'm super duper fortunate that, um... Bleh, cool. I do, um... Like, I do YouTube full-time, so... <laughs> basically, playing video games is my job, so it's like... And Elden Ring is like... Oh, God. I love this game, dude. Absolutely obsessed with it. Oh, right, Dennis. Yeah. I'll I'll try to remember that. We need to go there for sure. That's a lot of bloodstains. Ah, uh, boy. Okay. Let's get ready. This is the boss. Oh, Lord. This is such a cool arena. Oh, it's you again, you scumbag. I just fought one of these. Wait, why doesn't he have a health bar? Oh, he does, but he's like a normal enemy as far as the game's concerned. What the hell? Don't do it. Whoa. There's my nice bleed proc, thank you. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, he's doing his weird explodey attack. <laughs> Bad. There we go. Bleed proc OP. Get destroyed. I fought one of those the other day, and it, the one that I fought was way stronger than that one. Yeah. Oh, wait. No, I can't use the summon. The summon's so inconsistent, dude. It's like sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. I was um, playing. Oh, free stones word key. I'll take it. I was playing earlier uh, tonight with my buddies. I gotta say, I like. Does anybody else have this? You... Like, I can play with one person online. I can't play with two people. As soon as it goes to three people, someone randomly gets kicked every ten minutes, and it's really stupid. I haven't been able to find anything online that's a solution for it. But it's very frustrating, because it's like, we want to play together. But the game just refuses to let us. That's cool. Whoa, he's like all rotten and stuff. What is this the remnants of? Is this like a squid monster or something? Yeah, it's over from the ocean side. Ooh. Prince of Death's Pustule. Okay, it's a necklace. Raises vitality. Wait, what the hell is vitality? Surely they mean vigor, right? Like what? 
What? Unless, do they... Yeah, I don't... What the hell is Vitality? None of the stats are referred to as Vitality. Like, what? Oh, there it is. Bottom right. Oh, it's a resistance. Uh, immunity, robustness, focus. So vitality's blood resistance. Okay. Could the amulet have just said blood resistance? Ew, so gross. Try fingers. Ah, yes. Dude, this thing is so cool. Oh, he's got cute little legs. No, no, vigor is health. And, uh... Vigor increases your HP. The vitality is... Yeah, it's... It's weird. It's it's a resistance. It's one of the resistances. Uh, yeah, the game definitely has, like, an end. The main goal is to beat the six uh, primary bosses. Hello? Apparently, this is one of the bosses. Um, I'm only... I'm only done with two of the lords. I can't beat the third one right now. I mean, maybe I could, but I'd have to get really, really lucky. That's kind of why I ended up respecking, because may Jesus, maybe I could beat him now, but I don't think I'm gonna attempt it today. Maybe at the end if I'm feeling fresh, but what is that noise? Whoa. Okay, we're not done. Oh, oh, I know exactly where I am. Because Handy McGrab Grab is in here, right? Yep, there he is. I still haven't killed him. I guess I could attempt it. You know what? How many flasks do I got? I got four. Can't summon my baby minion or anything. Let's go for it. Hey, man. What's up? Oh, God. Whoa. You got a lot of range on you, buddy. Whoa! Thanks for the free hit! Ah, you scumbag! Easy mode. Cool. Now I can actually explore this room, because I never have yet. There's an item up there, which I assume I have to jump through that window to get to, but I don't know how the hell to get to that window. I've climbed all over the roof. Can't figure it out for the life of me. So that's what Godric used to look like, by the way. Which has me worried that his lion is going to be some other type of creature we'll come across. My buddy and I always call this creature in here uh, Godric Beta version. Not because he's weak, just because he's like the prototype version. Maybe that isn't how you get it. Maybe I can climb across the chandeliers. I don't know. Best class to start with. Well, don't you worry, son. I've I've got you covered. I actually have a um Where was I going? Oh yeah, the starting area. I have a Elden Ring tutorial that I'm gonna be putting out later today on top of the stream. Um it doesn't like it's not like super focused on just the classes, but I have like timestamps for everything. In short, you pretty much want to pick the class that you think you're going to enjoy the most, but the game basically gets broken down into ranged or melee. Um, ranged if you're a wimp. Hence, I'm a grown ass man. That's why I'm playing melee, because it makes the game harder. Ah, yes, a handy room. Beautiful pun. 10 out of 10 would recite again. Okay, how do I do this again? Uh, Primarily it's single player, but you can play multiplayer. I've just found multiplayer to be really, really jank. There's nothing else like it though, dude. I saw somebody on the Reddit that had a pretty heartfelt message where they were bas basically just saying how they spent like four hours dying to a boss over and over again. And then when they finally beat the boss and then there was like a player message at the end that said like, uh, you did it. And then they were just saying like how emotional they got about the whole thing and how where it was like, I think I get it now, guys. I understand why you like these types of games. <laughs> Cause it's not for everybody. It really isn't. But I I just love it. One of my favorite memes too is it shows like Obi-Wan Kenobi. And um what was it? It's something like 
pe it's like there's text on top of it. People saying all this game is is open world Dark Souls, and then it shows Obi Wan, and he's like, "That's exactly why I'm here." <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> okay, you think that this is gonna be a stronger version? Otherwise, I shouldn't. You know what? Starting class, pick samurai. Okay, so this is actually just the same handy guy. Oh, never mind. He's he's like smaller and faster. Whoa! Okay. You are an agile freak, huh? What you got, huh? Damn. This is the boss from the start of the game, too. I don't know how the hell you would end up beating him without, um, dying. I'm pretty darn strong. And he can, he can hit me and kill me if I go through a full combo of his. He's still easy. Ooh! Ooh! He gave us cool toys. Let me guess, an intelligence weapon? Oh no, it's actually not for once. <laughs> well, we got revenge. We ended up going to the starting area. Let's see whether or not we can actually go backwards and explore and get some more stuff. Probably not. Uh, excuse me. Oh, I'm sure some some freak... Some freak has already killed him at the beginning on their first playthrough. The funny thing is... Yeah, I guess you could kill him with a bow or, or if you're magic, honestly speaking. Again, would make it way easier. Yeah, you know what? Okay. I totally get it. Because if you guys uh, were here for it, what would happen at the beginning is you kill him, you go through the door, and then there's a bunch of butterflies on top of a cliff face. Uh, and then as soon as you try to go and grab them, the cliff breaks and falls and you die. So that would have been your reward if you were able to beat that guy um, <laughs> at the beginning. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be anything else here. Oh, right. I guess it would have given you the sword and the shield, too, which would have been great starting weapons. That's true. Did I hear a bug? No. Oh, man. Look at this. Hard to believe it was only a couple days ago that we were here in this starting church. What an intro. Damn. Oh, strange follower. That was not their first try. They practiced. 100%. Stormhawk King. Huh. I have a feeling I wouldn't... Like, would I have been able to get that at the beginning of the game? I feel like this door wouldn't have been open. Maybe it was. No, because that's like a summon. There's no way in hell you would have been able to get that at the intro because you didn't even have the summoning bell. Nah, 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 nah. I refuse to believe it. Do I have my torch? Thank God. It's so freaking dark in here. Oh, right, because this door was closed. Yeah, okay. I remember now. <sighs> What? Yeah, but that no, that's that's what I'm saying, dude, is I'm not saying that somebody didn't beat it. I'm saying BS to it being their first ever playthrough. Like it's the first one they recorded and showed you guys. Okay? They practiced. The only way that I could actually see somebody just fluking beating that on their first try is if they were using a mage. Wait, Confessor does have spells, does he? Was he using magic? Because if he was using magic, then yes, I, I believe it wholeheartedly. But melee? Nah. Not on their first try, because they went and known the patterns of the creature. Like you saw, that guy was pretty weird. Okay, um... So we got... I think we can choose one other portal. Uh, and then we don't have a third key. 
Oh, yes, Thomas. Oh, yes. Yup. I'm going to say it right now, dude. If you're playing as a melee character, you are in for a treat, but you are also in for suffering. So if you hate yourself, that's why we play melee. Because 100%, dude, every single time, I meme it now. Every single time you go into an area, it's like, oh, what's this loot going to be? A magic weapon. Oh, cool. A great sword. What? Uh oh, faith. Almost all of the gear that you end up getting is some form of magic item, and <laughs> it's kind of disappointing. <laughs> oh, man. No, 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 no. See, I think you guys... <clears throat> no way. Really? Ah, oh, we're over here. I need to be up there, damn it. This is actually kind of weird that I'm up here. I know of a boss that's up there that I just won't. Yeah. Is this it? Is there nothing here? Um, anyways, the, the point that I'm trying to make, guys, I'm not saying people can't beat the starting guy. I'm saying their first time playing this game, like the first time they load it up. No. Like, well, I mean, I guess it would be, they'd have to be really lucky because there's no way in hell that, like, unless they practice or maybe, maybe they did the play test a few times. Meh? They had practice. Or they're a mage, and then you just destroy everything. Because that's basically this entire game. I feel like, is this something, like, am I doing this right, or is this illegal? Like... I think we're doing this correctly. Uh-oh. Yeah. Sometimes he dies, sometimes he doesn't. Oh, lord. I've seen this guy before. I was a little worried about exactly what he is and how strong he's going to be. Uh oh, this could kill me. Okay, never mind. <sighs> yeah, no, it. I, I definitely can feel that the game really wants you to use magic. Which. I'll, I'll do magic on my second playthrough. Not necessarily on my new game plus, like when I end up starting a new character. Okay, maybe I could just shove him off the ledge. We might be able to cheese him. So this is actually the area where uh, a lot, oh my God. Ooh. Raises robustness, immunity, and focus. That's not bad. I will never use it. But, um, anyways, I've been exploring this area and everything because I know, th one of the only area things that I looked up is I know that there's an area over here that has an enemy that can drop the somber, um, smithing stones, which, like I said, is required for my weapon, but it requires us to be up here. So up there is actually like an area that we can be, but... I haven't looked up any spoilers or anything. I just know that when we beat the third boss, apparently something in the overworld changes, and then we get access to that area. That's all I know. That's all I want to know. I don't want to look anything else up. Is this a boss? Are you going to one-shot me? Oh, it's an enemy. All right. Maybe I can kick him off the ledge. But then I don't get his drops. Oh, no. Is that the enemy type that I think it is? Oh, I'm going to be dead. Oh, if this is what I think it is. Oh, yep, it's you. Okay, I'm dead. I am dead. I can't beat this guy. I already tried fighting a, one of these guys in the starting area, and he just kills me over and over because he gets up in my face, and there's nothing I can do. Okay. Please be weak. Yep. <laughs> I'm not fighting him. <laughs> Nope, nope, nope. Oh, God. I wonder if he drops his armor and stuff, though. I'm not doing nearly enough damage to him. No, 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 no. No way in hell. I can't beat that guy. Not right now. Damn. That's too bad. That means now I gotta go back down there to claim my souls, though. 
That was the guy I started out yesterday's stream. Uh, I have yesterday's stream still uh, set to members only. It'll go public after it's processed and stuff. But that's the guy that I ended up starting out the stream with that set a terrible tone for the rest of it. Because that guy is just... Whew. There's one of them that you can end up fighting in the Ethereal Realm in the Overworld. I guess at least with this guy, I could fight it 2v1. Like if I brought my friend in co-op. But uh, yeah, generally speaking, that's just... Yeah, I'm not going to be able to beat him. Well, hopefully this works again. Sometimes you just die from fall damage and it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, good day. Don't die. Thank you. Otherwise, if I died from fall damage, could you imagine? Then there goes all my souls. I mean, if I could push him off the ledge or something. <sighs> Most of all, it's just this guy's a damage check. I, I'm not strong enough. Well, let's find out. Maybe we have the other portals. Maybe I have enough to get the last portal. Yeah, I assume that guy's just going to drop some faith-based weapon like everything in the game. Or maybe his armor. I'm sure that that enemy type is going to become a normal enemy because that's what these games always do. Why did I just get 43 runes? What died? A bug, I guess? Okay, let's find out. Do I secretly have a third key? Wait, where's the third portal? Huh? Oh, this is it right here. I passed it. Alley -oop. No, I didn't think I had one. I don't know if you can get more than that, like, more than two, maybe. I don't know. Oh! I wanted to show you guys this, too. Wait, no, this is the wrong spot. Damn it. <clears throat> this spot. So there's a couple crazy things up here that we... As soon as I can level up, we'll attempt it. I love that grass popping in. So that right there is literally like a Lord of the Rings reference. You can't tell me otherwise because it's the Flaming Eye of Sauron. And so long as it has a view of you, it gives you madness, which basically just kills you. However, I just very briefly wanted to show you guys this because I thought this was so cool. There is this mage's tower over here. Well, we'll try and sneak past that guy if we can. But there's this mage's tower over here. And in order to get in it, oh my god, it was complicated. Because, basically, by climbing through the Wizards Academy, you can end up finding this helmet. Um, which... Oh my god, like you gotta like climb on the roofs and stuff and it's, it's crazy. You end up getting this helmet out of a big crystal room. So you have to wear that helmet, but then you also have to use Erudition, the, the emote. Um, I forget where I got that, unfortunately. But you gotta have both of those in front of this thing, because the statue wants Erudition, and then there's actually a mage sealed door over here that wants you to wear an academy helmet. And then yeah, you end up going through there and it's, it's just a memory stone, but... I fought like a weird ass enemy in there though that ended up having uh it was very weird it was like a giant floating head it was pretty funny you don't need to spend it if you don't lose them i will though because that madness thing is no joke let's see here um oh sweet yeah we can level up okay what do i want what do i want what do i want Hmm, maybe more endurance. I do like my equip load. It means I could have heavier armor, which gives me more poise and more follow through. Sure. How many of these soul ring things do I have actually? Oh, we should be able to get an air level out of this. Right? Maybe, maybe not. Levels are more expensive than I give credit. Faith for late game. Uh, honestly, magic early game is just... 
Yeah. Yeah, no problem, Speedy. You have a good one, bud. Oh, man. No, 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 no. No, Dennis, I cannot handle that boss yet at all. The, uh, the priest or whatever of that area is just way too powerful. Okay, I'm gonna lose my souls. Actually, you know what? Here, before, before I just lose everything, because it's gonna happen. I'm gonna go to this merchant. I wanted to show you guys this as well, because I've been exploring this underground area a little bit. A little bit. I haven't turned on any of the uh, torches that are required in order to get to the big stag boss that's going to probably one-shot me. Get away from me, giant crab. But... No, 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 no! Don't do it! Good ah, Those things are truly evil. Also, these guys can wreck me. Yep. Yeah. No. Get out of here. I'm trying to show things. Uh... Madness is like, it's like a status inducing effect that basically just takes half your health every time it triggers. You know what? Screw this guy. Woo! I can't see anything, can't you, camera? Okay, we'll ignore that guy. Anyways, I ended up finding out in here... There is a hidden merchant. Oof. Hello again, good customer. And check this out. He sells another larval tier, which is the item that you can use to respect. You wanna wanna buy that? Actually, you know what? I wanna buy these, because these cooking components, like why is this six thousand runes? Like There we go. Goodbye. Till next. Yeah, so long, freak. Later, Shaxter. Okay, where were we going again? Oh yeah, the madness. Yeah. So... The funny thing is this madness area overlooks um, the Great Lift as well. It's kind of like, I, I guess it's like a secret path that you could take if you wanted to skip the Mage Academy. Oh yeah, crap. Well, at least I got nothing to lose now. Okay. Uh, it's a big open field to get over to that guy, too. It's just some asshole up there summoning the eye, as far as I know. Maybe I can time this. There does seem to be a ladder over there. Okay. Bad. They got glowing eyes, which means that they mean business. Woo. Okay. I hope to God it's a mage that I can just easily kill. Because that would be beautiful. Don't do it. <laughs> Maybe I messed up their prayer. No, still doesn't seem like it. Howl of Shabiri. Is that a spell or a weapon art? That is a spell. So that's literally gonna cause madness. Okay, cool. Do I get spotted when I'm on this ladder? No, I don't, thank God. 
Oh, I do as soon as I go that high up, though. Oh, this might be a mistake. Oh, I get invulnerability frames. Hell yeah. How did that not get rid of the eye? Tranquility, my ass. Is it done? Hell yeah. Okay, now we can actually explore this area. Sweet. Cool. Yeah, the funny thing is that the status-inducing effects are, uh... They're definitely worth investing in. Bleed is a really good one. It's actually better if you're using, like, dual blades. So, dual katanas, for example, is really, really good for bleed. But the funny thing is that you'll notice that my weapon itself doesn't do much damage. But it's a trick. Because even if my weapon's main physical damage isn't that much, as soon as that bleed procs, it does like an insane amount. Okay, so that I think would actually take us down to the great lift. Right? Ah! Yeah, okay. So the point is that if you were trying to go down this way, uh, you gotta like hide behind all the rocks and crap so you don't get the madness. But we got it done now, so. Cool. Because I think there's another um, Chapel of America up here. I know it's like a fire village or something. I don't know how deadly this is going to be. Please don't tell me that these guys are going to be praying and have another, like, another madness eyeball. Excuse me. The other thing, too, is I don't really have that much in terms of my item discovery. And yet, woohoohoo! You guys mean business, huh? Okay. I won't underestimate you then. Wee! This weapon also does fire damage, which is, oh, which is pretty cool. Um, I was hearing all the stomp, stomp sounds and I was worried, uh, <laughs> I was really worried that it was another one of those uh, madness Sauron eyes, but I know there's the mausoleums nearby, so. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. This weapon is like great. Um. I'll probably, like, I'll probably give, like, uh, I want to make, like, quick tutorials on the game because I know there's a lot of tutorials out there, but they don't really get to the point. But, to give you the short answer of how you get this weapon, um, up here, no, not up here. Where is it? I think it's these, right? No, it's this. The Second Church of America. That's kind of the point of interest where you'll end up fighting an invader that drops this weapon. But you have to advance a quest line in order to get that to happen. So right here at the beginning swamp area, there's going to be a PvP character you'll kill. Uh, and then there's like some ninja guy that helps you out. And basically, uh, after you kill the invader, the ninja guy is chilling here. So you got to talk to him and exhaust his dialogue. And then he'll have a summon sign secretly on this bridge where you can join his world and help him with another invader. And then after that's done, uh, he'll end up going over to the Second Church of America, which in order to get up here is very difficult in its own right. Uh, but then you get the washboard katana, which is the longest melee weapon in the game. And then you also end up getting these dual uh, Darth Maul blade thing. Now, the main way of getting up the grand lift is you gotta go to like two opposite ends of the entire world in order to end up getting two pieces of a puzzle that end up activating the elevator. Or you can be a Chad like me and take the long way, which is going through this ravine right here, going through a super deadly mining area, and then ultimately climbing up the cliff over here. Yeah. I was not set up to actually use this weapon, but in my last stream I ended up respecking because I was just complaining and whining and I, I was really frustrated because it was like, I was 30 hours into this game and I hadn't changed from the katana or the samurai armor. And it was just like, every battle was kind of just playing out the same, oh these guys are tough. Every battle was kind of just playing out the same and it was kind of frustrating me. 
Um, oh god, they have magics. So, I've been really enjoying it ever since I changed. This weapon gives me a lot of control. Okay, these guys suck. Whoa! No, don't hit me with your lightning. These guys are super tanky. Okay. Let's get my boost going here. Don't do it. Let me drink from my potion flask. Thank you. Anyways, the point of this weapon, though, is it's actually based off of arcane, which <laughs> you're gonna be very limited if you end up uh, if you end up using this weapon versus like intelligence weapons or faith weapons. There are so many faith weapons; it is actually insane. Don't do it. Ow! Man, these guys hurt. Whoa! Okay, these guys got weird moves. Okay. One on one. Get the hell out of here! So, that's the thing, Thomas. I should... Uh, yeah. As soon as you end up beating the second lord, you have access to respecking. Um... And you can either get the tier that I just showed you in the underground city. Uh, there, there's a couple other tiers. You, you can respec like multiple times on your playthrough, so don't worry about it. Don't bother like starting again. Because I was considering it as well, because I was just getting so fed up with uh, using the same stuff and always just finding like faith weapons and magic weapons and crap. But ever since I made the change, oh my god, I've been having so much fun. But you can easily, um, <laughs> force yourself into... Is this what I think it is? Constantly attracts enemy aggression. Yeah, this is a keepsake that you can have at the beginning. But yeah, if you're, like, frustrated and don't want to deal with the, you know, combat and stuff, honestly, just be a mage. The game becomes a joke. Oh. Well, I thought I got backstabbed, but apparently not. I've seen... <laughs> I've seen people that like not to say not to imply that the game is easy by any means But if you have magic, you're basically at a range. It goes through blocking on enemies like it's it's ridiculous How powerful magic is <coughs> Oh, excuse me my throat's getting dry oh. <coughs> Fisherman's friends help me Hold on guys. Sorry one sec <coughs> Help. Gender police. Hmm. Okay. Don't tell me that's all I came here for. Oh, there's a pathway up, apparently. <coughs> Damn it. Ah, here we go. Also. Oh, I hear you. Where is he? There he is. He's up there. Um, you can Skyrim up so many cliffs. I've, like, literally, I swear to God, I've cheated with how, like, I've gotten to, like, secret areas and stuff with my horse. It's ridiculous. Don't d You know what? That's just a health one, so I don't care. Do you guys want to see those mausoleums I keep referring to? There's one. They kind of suck. Because, um... Yeah. Basically, you gotta, like, go and chip away at a bunch of crap that's on his legs. And then he'll, uh, fall down. I fall down. Ah! That was close. Easy there, horse. Easy, Javias. Stones were key. Let's go. I'll take a freebie. I could probably parkour around this castle ledge, but... I'm not seeing any items, so I don't really care. Wait, is there something on that roof? Oh, God. That was higher than I thought. Please don't die. Okay, we're good. Hi, rat. Oh, that's a chimney. I'm an idiot. Okay. Ah! Bad rat.
Whatever, I'll take the free heal. <clears throat> um, this is on pretty much everything. I don't think it's on, like, I don't know, uh, Switch or whatever, but I'm playing it on PC. I actually have an order for this game on PS5 because I wanted to get, get the collector's edition. It still hasn't arrived. Could you imagine if I was, like, waiting for the physical copy? Like, Jesus. Hey, bro, what's up? Lord Vike, it seems you were no lord after all. Then where is he, our true lord, our lord is frenzied flame? We beg of you incinerations, all that divides and distinguishes. Ah, may chaos take the world. May chaos take the world, brother. I completely agree. Alright. Well, I hope there's not like some invader up here. This game. Oh yeah, we're gonna get invaded. God damn it. Alright. Pot time. <sighs> Why did I know this was gonna happen? Why can't I summon a minion? Oh, it's Vike! The guy he was talking about. Ooh. Oh boy. Okay. Please be weak. Please be weak. Please be weak. Don't you RP walk me. Oh my god, the range on that spear looks uh, pretty intimidating. Don't do it! That- oh my god. Ow! He, uh, is not taking much damage from me. Whoa! The hell was that, buddy? Don't do it! Surprise attack! Just got- No! He gives you madness?! Okay. Asshole. <sighs> Don't... No, the eye didn't come back, right? Okay, good. Why is there not a Shrine America next to that thing so that I could just respawn? This guy is gonna suck. Oh my god. See, and then the whole thing that's so dumb about like the player summons. Skyrim, come on. There you go. The whole thing that's so dumb about like the player summons is I could do this in co op, so why can't I summon my skelly babies right now? You know, like it doesn't make sense. Okay, do we katana this guy? I think we do. Is this the right sword? No. There we go. Katana plus 10. Let's see how he deals with this. Alright, you scumbag. Where you at? Yeah, there you are. Oh god. <laughs> I messed it up. No, just let me drink. Ah, there you go. That's more damage. Whoa, okay. Okay, you drink from a flask and then I do too, okay? Bro, you gonna do your lightning? I knew you'd try to drink from your flask, you scumbag. Get dumped on! Finger grape something, okay. Oh, we got his war spear. Ooh. Didn't get his spell, which is a bit odd, but... <laughs> See what I tell you guys? Another faith weapon! You can't enjoy any weapons in this game if you're a strength dex build, dude. I'm telling you. Oh my god. Whoops. <laughs> no, every part of the game's co-op. Or basically. 
Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, here's my respawn point. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they actually really stepped up, like, the AI of the uh, bots. Like, the invaders play real close to actual players. In my experience, they're usually a little bit better. Okay, well, we got... We just took her outfit. That's kind of gross. Do we have enough to upgrade our flask? Probably not. Yup, we actually increased the heals on it. Hell yeah. Potency go burr. Get rid of that marker. <clears throat> All the big weapons are strength index. Yeah, none of the good ones is my point. Every weapon you get in this game out of drops is almost... Like, every weapon that I've gotten is always a faith weapon. I barely get any weapons that are strength decks. And if they are, it's just like a great sword, which is cool, arguably. But I've already played through Dark Souls 3 as a great sword character. I never want to do it again. As much as I love great swords, this game is not meant to use them. Like, I, I would say it's actually really hard to play through the game with the big-handed weapons. You get lots more range on them, which is nice, but, uh, oh my god, your attack animations are just so freaking slow. It's, uh, it's, it's tough. Normal enemies, you're actually going to stomp the floor with them with great swords and two-handed weapons. But as soon as you start fighting a boss, it's like, can I get a single attack off? Usually no. I guess that was it. That's all that was up here. That was pretty cool, though. A ninja build in Elden. There is one, actually. Um, there's a... Sp I don't know what the spell's called. There's a spell that you can... What is that? There's a spell you can use to blind enemies. So you could use that to get constant backstabs, actually. That's a giant rat, isn't it? Oh, they all have glowing eyes. Not because they're giving more XP. It's because they have madness. Okay. I see how it is. Well, let's just ignore that big guy. Ooh, random graveyard. Give me items. Wait, what is that? Yeah! Oh, it's a plant thing. These ones are weird colors. Please be evil. Or easy, I mean. It's gonna be evil, but... Ah! My mount! My precious mount! God damn it! Okay, cool. Have an entire attack combo that stun locks me so I can't move if I get close. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the perfect example right there where... <laughs> Be a mage. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Jesus. <sighs> All right, how do I get down there without dying from fall damage? Come on. I saw an error meme that I thought was really funny where it was um, showing like the fall damage parameters and it's like a, a big chunk of it is still alive and unharmed uh, with a tiny little bit saying like took a little damage, don't know why. And then right after that is just death. Because it's like, yeah, dude, legit. You you either survive the fall or you don't. Like, it's just... Ah! Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm just grabbing the loot. Leave me alone. Ah! Oh, they give me madness. Are you... No, 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 no. Really? Oh. Boo, 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 boo. I didn't know they were giving me madness. This place is hell. True hell. These are tier four. These are good stones. Oh, boy. I'm risking it. Yeah. Worth it. Okay, well, now that I know they actually don't give poison and give madness instead, I am not even going to attempt fighting that thing. Not even worth it, dude. It would just end up one-shotting me if it got the madness off. Yeah. This is the hill of madness.
You guys like the view up here? Oh, rude. <sighs> okay. No, there's PvP. So that red character that we saw up on the hill right there, that basically is referred to as an invader. Um, in this instance, it was a bot. But, um... Oh, right, this is a cave I wanted to explore with you guys. In this instance, it was a bot, but if you're playing in co-op, it would be another player that can invade you. I don't have my uh, bow anymore, though, Multi, because I changed my build, remember? Should we try and see if co-op actually works for once? Let's attempt it. Oh, whoops! I keep forgetting... So a buddy of mine figured out that when you examine these, and it says summoning pool is now functional... That basically acts as a free uh, finger remedy. But yeah, you can play this game up to four people in a party, including the host. Um, but if you have more than three people playing in co-op, um, like if you have four, then you can be invaded by two people. But if you have three or two people in a world, I guess no one's here, you can only be invaded by one person. Which is very, very manageable. Okay, this place kind of sucks, so hopefully I'll be okay. I helped my buddy through here. And, uh... It's these minor dudes, which is kind of cool, but they're magic-based, which is not cool, so... Yeah, four people would definitely be overkill, but... Oh, I wanted to get the drop on him, but oh well. The... No, no, no. Big weapons don't require dex. They require strength. But, um... Oh, somber souls. Hell yeah. Or somber smithing stuff. Dex weapons are usually, like, the faster weapons, like katanas and stuff like that. If you want to build towards, like, great swords and junk, then you would be using strength and dex. But, um... Most of all, the advantage of strength, I would say, is that eventually you can end up using great swords in one hand. That would be the build that you could be going towards. But, generally speaking, it's, yeah, it's kind of a mix. It's just, like, in my, like, playing through this game and not looking online for the best gear, like most people do. And I'm not saying, like, I'm, I'm not saying it in an in elitist way or anything. It's just for my own enjoyment, I would rather not look anything up. And out of all of the gear that I find, the most interesting weapons are almost always faith weapons. That's why I keep memeing about it. I'm not saying that there isn't, like, really good greatswords and stuff out there. It's just, they're not, like, a casual run-in. Like, you kind of got to go out of your way to get them, and sometimes they're in, like, really hidden spots. Okay, these guys seem to be a joke, thank God. Oh, 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 did you see his phantom? Oh, 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 oh my God, that was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> he did what I was about to do, and he just fell. Oh my god, that was good. Oh, where's this blood stain? Oh god, this is hurting me. God, it physically hurts. Oh lord. Parkour. Ah, parkour. Oh, why? Why? Oh, my butt cheeks. Oh. Ah, okay. God, oh, I hate this. This better be worth it. It probably won't be. <laughs> Somberstone, sure, I'll take it, I guess. That was only it. <gasps> no! And now my souls are over there! God damn it. <laughs> I had to run and jump on that one. Oh, God. <sighs> Please don't have my runes be over there. You know what? Leave me alone, okay? I don't need to kill you guys all again. Please don't have my runes over there. Oh, they're over there, aren't they? Yeah, they're up there. Oh, great. This is risky. How much runes did I have? Did you guys notice? It was probably only like 5k. I can sacrifice it, frankly speaking, over doing the parkour again. <laughs> Oh, these guys dropped Sombering Stones? Bruh, the wiki lied to me. It said there was only one enemy that could drop those. Okay, well, I now know where I'm going to farm for hours on end. I 
Actually, I might need higher tiers. Maybe these guys don't drop higher tiers, but now I know. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Okay. Well, let's go get my souls. Yeah, I hate this. Look at all these bloodstains, dude. Nobody can do this. Ah, God. Yeah. Of course, I would fall on the last jump, too. I'm Mario. No! <laughs> there goes all my runes. It's okay. No harm, no foul. I was gonna, I was intending on leaving them behind anyway, so. Ah! Oh my lord. Okay, good. Good. Yeah, I should see which tier of somber stone I need. Um, why did I change the build? Because I was getting bored and I was getting way too frustrated at the game. And I didn't realize that a lot of it had to do with the fact that I was playing this game for like 30 hours with the same build. Now, not to say that I'm probably going to end up using this build for a very, very long time as well. But um, what I would actually recommend is if you are going to go samurai, you should probably be a dual wielder. Because you can get two katanas and oh my god, two katanas is OP for bleed. It's just, I don't personally, like, I'm not a fan of two-hand uh, dual wielding, so that's why. But generally speaking, I was just getting way too frustrated at the game, and I was cussing it out, and blah, 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 blah. And then, as soon as I ended up changing, it's like, I'm still melee, but I'm having so much more fun. Just the fact that I actually got to finally change my weapon type. Not to mention, this armor gives me way more poise than the samurai armor did. But don't worry, my my roots are always going to be samurai, because my base stats will always be the same, even when I respect. I love how these guys are using their magic to mine, dude. That's so cool. Blur. What was that, weirdo? Hey, man. Mind if I stab your friend in front of you? Ooh, a mage. Nope, don't do it. Bad. Okay? Bad. Yeah! There's an iron mage. Somber? Nah. Ah! Ow. I was... No, my charge attack. Me. Okay? Let me do mine. Don't do it, Ned. Let me drink my pot first. Okay, you do your weird homing shots. Get out of here. <laughs> the ragdoll is so good. Oh, okay, no, Doc. Yeah. Yeah, the game doesn't, like, I, I kind of suspected, but the game doesn't really explain how the uh, stones work very well, like, for the smithing stuff. I think I need like four or something to level my weapon up again, but... Die. Look, his friend didn't even notice. He's got too many gemstones in his ears. Give me that. Give me that. Oh, I think he dropped something. I said... Thank you. Oh, that was just a smithing stone outright. Ooh, you can farm them like crazy in here. Damn. Because that's a natural resource in this cave. You could probably just get them over and over again. Dude, that is actually legit awesome. Because I'd always wondered, like... I've seen a couple other playthroughs, and I was wondering, like, how do they have so many, like, weapons built up? Because lots of... Every like, everybody else is really experimenting with different weapon types and stuff because they can level them all up. Whereas I'm sitting here like, bruh, I'm struggling to get smithing stones. I mean, granted, I never really went out of my way to farm them yet. But I will definitely try to remember this area for sure. <laughs> Thanks, man. Love you, too. Hey, what is going on in here? Oh, why does it have to be a beam? You know what? That guy's not going to throw anything at me, right? Let's just run it. Let's run. <laughs> okay. Hey, man. 
No, you don't even see me, bro. I'm like the knight. I'm invisible. Okay. Asshole. Those guys can be very, very annoying. And this... I don't really want to ride up it, but this is our shortcut. And it unlocks once we've, uh, once we've ridden it. Yoink. That's the spot I died. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so you can grind the higher tiered stones off of higher tiered enemies, right? No, Doc. Because that's, that's what it was like in Dark Souls anyway, so I assume that it's going to end up being the same in this. But I'm not really at that point in the game yet. Is there still Green Goblin under the mask? Oh, right! I... Whoa, whoa, no! Not a marionette! I didn't even show you guys. I changed my character's look. Are we safe now? Are right, you guys ready for this grand reveal? It's a me, Waluigi. <laughs> he didn't get a smash, but he got an Elden Ring. I'm, <laughs> I'm quite proud of it. I don't know. I just, I decided to change him randomly. Okay, these guys are gonna drop, right? And vulnerability frames. Let's go! You can't shoot me in the back because I'm busy shooting your friend with my sword into his chest. Yeah, good pun. I'll probably end up changing my character again as well, but I thought it was funny. Wait, where's... This seems like a trap. No? Nothing? Okay. Cool. Oh, right, because the guy ran out of here. Yeah. Arrows. Oh. Can I get the sneak? You might have spotted me, but it was still too late, kid. God! Ugh! I need the control of the battlefield. And vulnerability frames! Get out of here. Well, fire seems to- get off of me, bro! Fire seems to do a lot of damage to these guys, which makes sense because they're made of wood. I'm a real boy! Crystal knife? Huh. <laughs> An intelligence weapon. Ah, yes! Of course! Kind of makes sense, but that's pretty cool. Actually, I should look at it at the very least. Ooh. Oh, you know what? That means we could actually be fancy. And we can do this. Yeah. So that means we could be proccing bleed at the same time. No thank you, but it's cool. Okay, do I get like a shortcut here or? I hear more. Oh God. Why do I hear them? Oh, they're underneath me. Good. Good. Ooh, this is a busy looking room. Hey man, no, you didn't actually like hear me though, right? Yeah, thanks, we're cool. I see you, mage. What is he doing? He's on patrol. Or, oh no, he's on for his morning run. All right, I see. He's getting those uh, that cardio in. I'm gonna rush that guy. Okay, he changed his. Okay.
The amount of control that I have with this weapon is insane. Did he just explode? Yeah, he, no, he didn't. Ow! I like how their buddy, like, hasn't even skipped a beat. He's like, bruh, I'm working. I should let him live. Just because he's, like, so good. You know what? He will have an honorable death. Ooh! Man, alive, this cave... If those respawn, this cave is insane. Like, I could farm this and start leveling up, like, all the garbage weapons I always wanted to experiment with. Jesus. <laughs> the whole base of these games is they hit as hard as you. Yeah, you could say that, but most of the time they hit harder. <laughs> oh my god, Draco. He was mining his own business. Oh my lord. I'm gonna ban you for these great puns. Jesus. Why didn't I think of that? Yeah, no, the point of these games is, uh, yeah. This game's gonna kick your ass. I think that a lot of people don't seem to understand, because for a lot of people, this is gonna actually be their first Souls game. But... The enjoyment comes out of the sense of accomplishment. And I know that might sound stupid because it's just a video game and stuff, but when you're sitting here playing this hard-ass game, it's like, you know, we're all in it together kind of thing. And it's just, I don't know, there's nothing else like it, dude. Yeah, yeah, masochist. Yes, that's, that's everybody that plays Souls games. You go through like four hours of pain to end up beating a single boss, and then you're just sitting there thinking, damn. After everything I've been through. Okay, what is this up boss gonna be? Hopefully he's undertuned as hell. This area seems to be pretty easy so far. Oh, this guy! Okay. This could be bad. Yeah, pogo jump. Go, my minions! Yes! Don't do it! Oh my lord! Get destroyed! <laughs> we literally stunlock him! Die! <laughs> yes, my goblin army! Yes! <laughs> God damn, I might level those guys up. Those guys are clutch as hell. Their attacks count as heavy attacks, so it was stun locking them. <laughs> oh my lord, that was so good. I legit should level them. I haven't committed to leveling up any of the bells yet. I mean, obviously it was pretty low level, but... <sighs> oh, nice, Nodak. Yeah, sweet, man. Prime example there. Yeah, when I'm talking all that smack towards greatswords, I'm not talking smack against the playstyle. You want to use a greatsword, you use a greatsword. It's just, I've played through the other Dark Souls with a greatsword, and let me tell you, it's, uh, it's, it's not fun. I mean, I guess, to be fair, it was fun the first few times I did it, and then after a while, it was like, I'm too slow. Okay. I don't know how to take this guy down, by the way, because I don't think he's got any gunk on his legs. Like I said, you kind of got to destroy the gunk, or at least that's what I've seen on all the other ones. Maybe this guy's tied to these minions, and I got to get rid of them all. Because they're all kind of just chilling here. Oh, yeah, because these are like his minions. That's why. Okay. Uh, why didn't you have a health bar? Ow. Don't stomp on me, giant bell. Taco Bell. Ow.
I should be using a mount, but... Ah, yes, the Trove Headless Glitch. Yes, exactly. Horsey time. Die. Ow! Don't do it. Weapon's so goddamn good on a horse, by the way. Oh, oh fuck! Jabrias, no! My precious horse! What have you done? Oh, wait, he's back. Hey, stop that. Stop! God, it's so noisy over here. Ah! Hey, leave me alone. Ow, leave me alone. He's the one that I got worried about. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Okay. I really do gotta actually, like, pay attention on him. No, you don't. Nah, man. Woo! It's easier to fight him off my mount. Oh, there's two of them. That's what's going on. Wait, is there? It looked like there was. Who the hell? You shooting at me from over there? What's your problem, man? Get lost. Oh. Damn, dude. Yeah, this is actually a pretty tricky bell monster. Hey! No, 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 no. You're not even near me. Stop teleporting, scumbag. Could you imagine if I got a helmet drop off of them? That would be kind of funny. Die. Ow! Now there's another archer shooting at me. Oh my lord. Oh, do they just keep coming? Maybe I just gotta defeat a certain amount of them. Alright, fine. Get out of here! He's not even dead yet. Ow! Now he is. Jesus, how many of these guys do I gotta kill before this bell thing comes down? Anyways, uh, point is, I'm pretty sure that this is just summoning... Like, it's a summoning bell, right? Um, you have to have the gate summon symbol. Use a sum No, yeah, I know. It's it's on the left side of the screen. It only shows up sometimes though, it's very odd. Stop! I think we're slowly beating them all, right? Come here, you. Stop! The thing that's nice about this is, like I said earlier, it's doing fire damage. So it's actually damaging through their shields. Did I win yet? No, you're still mad? Okay. Well, there's some more over here, and then there's more in the other direction. Ooh, there's a lot of them here. Okay. Who's going to be ranged? Any of you? You tried to get the drop on me, it didn't work. This thing just stuns the hell out of, like, normal enemies, because I'm always using, like, heavy attacks now. It's great. Whoa, 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 hey. Stop that. Really? No, you're not gonna kill me in a three-hit combo. Get out of here. Oh 
my god. Get out of here. Also, this is the second one of these weird freaking things that I've seen out here. I don't know what the heck the point is. Can I do anything with them? No. No, that's the thing, Paul. Um, this one seems to be different. I'm just guessing because I think it's using its own summoning bell, and that's why these guys are weird specters. I think, because this one doesn't have the gunk on him. I've taken one of them down before. Also, yes, Thunder, I actually do have a beginner's guide that I'm putting out today. So, you're in luck. I'm assuming I gotta kill all these guys. But, maybe not. We'll find out, because I think this is the last one. Bruh. Stay still, you stupid specter! Did I win? No, he's not coming down yet. Okay, maybe I'm wrong then. Wait, is he coming down? Sounds like he is, but I don't think he is. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Uh, I thought for sure that was it. Maybe there's more dudes up here in the swamp area? Or... Take a quick peek. Unless they're on the other side of the bridge, but... Because I'll show you guys when I go up to him that he doesn't have the, uh, the usual garbage on him. Yeah, I guess that's it. Okay. No, that's what I'm saying. He doesn't have the white gunk on his legs. That's why it confused me. Because all the other ones I've seen have it. This one, I think, is more of a weird puzzle guy. Oh, wait. Is that some gunk on him? Oh, wait. Is it? No, it's not. See what I mean? He doesn't... Like, I've been around him, and he doesn't have any. Or is that it there? No. No. Unless I can literally just jump onto it, but I would assume that is not the case, right? Because surely if I try to jump on him, I'm just going to, like, bump into his hitbox or something. But there is an air gust up here. You know what? I got nothing to lose. Let's try it out. alley -oop. Let us find out. Because there is all this crap along the wall. I don't know if this is going to work. Oh my lord, this is really cheesy, tricky parkour, huh? Okay. Hold on. I mean, honestly, I will be very shocked if this works. Whoa! That was close. I think we're low enough that we won't take fall damage, right? Alright. Does this work? Oh, it does! Oh! And then here's the gunk. Aha! Dude, that's actually really cool. They changed it up. Oh my god. I didn't expect that I'd be able to even climb on him. That's really awesome. Is that it? Did I win? No, there's still more around. Dude, that's actually really cool. Though it had nothing to do with those weird ghosts. Oh, I think he's coming down. Yeah, he's coming down. Oh, yeah. Ah! Ooh. No, it wasn't a waste of time, man. Still ended up getting all those kills. Maybe now that he's down, maybe that would have stopped those guys from spawning. But that's okay, it was free souls, so. I didn't even attempt to open the door. I assume I wouldn't have been able to open it without it being down on the ground. 
I mean, it doesn't even really matter anyway, because it's just, oh, do you want to duplicate boss scrolls, souls? And it's like, hmm. Honestly, I didn't know I could just do this. I thought, duplicate remembrance. What does it consume to duplicate, though? Or can you just do it every mausoleum, I guess, right? Huh. Surely not, right? Oh, Lord, you can. What? I got an arrow one. Whoa. Really? I thought, okay. Huh. I thought it would be a limited amount. That means you could get all the boss weapons. You could just... I mean, there's a limited amount of the mausoleums for sure. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay. Well, learn something new. That's the first time I did it. I just naturally assumed it was going to be like, oh, I'll only get one of them. But, no. Cool. Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I want to do this, but let's... Um, let's attempt some of these areas. Yes, Nodak. It's uh, in case you want the other weapon or if you want to consume it it gives a lot of runes i just didn't know that i could basically just keep duplicating them so long as i had um uh where was i going up here so long as i ended up having them because i'm guessing it's just one per okay bye buddy you guys ready to see pain Hello, Lightning Dragon, that I barely do any damage to. Leave me alone. No. No. I'm not fighting that guy. <laughs> no way. I don't do nearly enough damage. We'll fight him one day. <laughs> okay. Um, so this was the other pathway that I was surprised by that I didn't even notice. Wait, is it? Oh, actually, I think it was up there. Sorry. Um, if you keep going that way, it actually takes you into the volcanic region. So I wanted to attempt exploring that with you guys, but it might kick my butt. Oh, there was something else up here too, right? You know what? Perfect timing that we're here. I can also show you guys how I Skyrimmed up this wall. There is, like, a normal way you can get up here, but we gamers, so we've played Skyrim before. Leave me alone, scumbags. Fog gate. I don't know what the hell is in here. I didn't want to risk it. This might be a mistake. Oh, Lord. I, uh, children, protect papa. I'm rolling. That's cool. Whoop. Don't do it. I just, I want my other flask. Thank you. Don't kill my babies. There's my bleed proc. God, when that goes off, it's huge. I am definitely leveling these guys up. Oh my God, they are so good. Holy crap. Because they do heavy damage, so they help me stun things. Oh, that's so good. Your father is proud of you, my children. Kiss for all of you. Goodbye. Oh my lord. Well, that guy was pretty dang powerful. He had a lot of health. Ritual sword talisman, huh. The hell does that do? Raises attack power when HP at maximum. Oh! Huh. 
honestly, I'm almost always trying to keep my health at max HP, so that might be good. What could I trade? Consecutive attacks is really good. Critical's healing is really nice, but let's try this. See how much damage that gives us, because I always try to keep my health maxed out anyway, so... <laughs> yeah, I know about the Mimic one, Nautic. I know that one's the best. Hello. Oh. Okay, well that's kind of cool. I didn't, uh... I saw that thing before, but it escaped from me because it, like, teleported. Why do I hear monkeys? Shut up, monkey! Okay, um, where was I actually going? I was going over here. I still think I'm gonna level up these minions, because, oh my god. They're really good. But yeah, the Mimic Bell, uh, I've heard of it. That one literally just makes you... It, it makes a clone of yourself. That has, like, your same weapon, your same gear and everything, so it's, like, super OP. Okay, so, we ended up going up here before. Uh, this is where we fought Granny Boat Shibubu for a uh, death bloom that I can no longer give to the Bestial Sanctum because he decided to randomly go hog wild and start attacking me. But, ow, I'm trying to look at my map. Where the hell is it? Oh. That over there is another way into the volcanic region, actually. But what I was looking for... Oh, I was looking for those catacombs. Those are... In this direction. Yeah. I can show you guys the volcano in a bit, but I honestly think that that area is going to be way too powerful for me. I mean, this plateau is already super strong for me. I'm surprised we beat that boss. It's most of all because we got to cheese him. Because this weapon just outputs so much more damage with the bleed. Oh, I saw that. Gold rune tier 7. Let's go. Eh. Where is this catacombs? Uh Oh, so it must have been through there then. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm a little lost because I don't have the map. Let's just fast travel there. <laughs> I might not be able to handle this place, so we might leave. But... Basically... Over here... There was, like, this random-ass rune, and then I snuck back here and I saw... Ooh, a catacomb. Or, wait, am I mixing this up with another one? Yeah, I am. Okay, I, never mind. Sorry, guys. This is the one that has... God, I need the map in this region. This is the one that has, like, tons of electric traps and stuff, so it's a little too much for me right now. <laughs> Sorry. Um, You know what? Maybe let's try and go... I think this is the volcanic pathway. We'll try and go through the volcano. I'm not necessarily going to fight everything. Um, because I really want to get the map. It's really cool. It's like a completely different region than anything else in the game. And it's got all these volcanic stones and stuff. And then there's these dumb fire traps that are really annoying. But if you jump through them, it's all good. I kind of already ended up scouting through here. <laughs> Sorry, but I was too curious. I just stumbled across this area when I was exploring, and then I was like, ooh. Shiny. Um, but eventually it goes to a castle that I haven't taken on yet. However, there was this right here I really wanted to check out. Um, also over there is one of those merc creatures that can one-shot you. Hey, man. Here to relieve you of your duty of guarding the cave. So I'm hoping, I could be wrong, but through all my exploration, I haven't found 
a way to get up onto this main path or even this one right here to get the map. So I'm hoping that this cave just coincidentally takes us to the top of the mountain because the map is actually up there. But I, I don't know how to get up there. This might not actually go there, but... I'm curious to see it either way. Oh no, there's a boss at the top. Of course there is. Probably won't be able to handle it, frankly speaking. Okay, well, this is a point of no return, unfortunately. Actually, I probably should have spent my souls, but that's okay. Oh, you know what? I realized I have my password. That's why I wasn't able to see summon signs. Hopefully I can actually summon someone, but I don't think anyone's here. There's ladders that will take you up to the top. Yeah, but where? Because this main road goes to the broken bridge, right? Is it on that main road? Oh, go past the castle on the left. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't explore that area because I wanted to do it on stream, but okay, cool. So that is the right direction. Sweet. I do not one-shot him with a backstab. These guys are pretty tough. Whatever the boss is might be trouble. Hey, man. Your buddy's dead. You're next. Goodbye. These poor guys, man. They're just sitting here doing their patrols. Poison ahead. Oh, Lord, really? <sighs> of course. Of course there's poison ahead. Well, we. Go, 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 go. I don't want to build it up. I don't want to build it up. Oh, Lord, this place sucks. Ah! Don't eat me. That was my bleed proc. It's beautiful. Jesus, it's so dark in here. Uh, don't mind me. No. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna get poisoned. I need to accept that. Poison grease. Um, that was just a test. I should really go back to using my, uh, my backstab heals. Get away from me. This place is so freaking dark. Even with my lantern, it barely does anything. No. Roll, you idiot. Roll. It's so freaking dark in here. Give me that health. Ah. God, even these baby rats hurt. Really? What were you guarding? Oh, yes. My favorite. I'm so glad that there was a lump of flesh there, because as you can see, I'm running out. Hey, D. Yeah! Okay, I gotta kind of move, but also be careful at the same time. Hey, idiots. 
Okay, you know what? There is a lot more of you than I was expecting, so let, let's just... Screw it. We all know how this is gonna go. There's gonna be a boss at the end. He's gonna, like, kill me in one hit. Gonna be a good time. What the hell? Woof. It goes deeper? Jesus. Whoops. It's really cool, but goddamn. Secret wall? Nope. Alright. I wanna see what's this arrow way, I'm too curious. Oh, more rats. I should have known. Whoa! I didn't realize the poison was draining me that much. Oh, I see! Because it's too dark. So they can't see either. I suppose. No, it's okay. Don't worry, little buddy. Is this like my exit or something? Hey, man. Give me some of that health! Ah! What? Stop it! Well, that built up quick. Give me some more of that health. <sighs> oh god, I should have just gone for the cave hole. You think this is gonna be worth it? I don't. <laughs> mushroom helmet hat! That was- and mushroom body and mushroom arms and mushroom legs. Okay, that was totally worth it. <laughs> now I can disguise- uh, I can cosplay as my favorite character in Elden Ring. The mushroom guys. Okay, well, let's go down here and find out that there's some type of a boss that's gonna, like, kill me in two hits. I see other phantoms. I don't see anybody to summon, though. Oh, what is that? A weak attempt, rat. As if someone had a blood stain there. Oh lord. Well, this is gonna be the boss, isn't it? Let's go. No? Really? I see light over there. Jesus, there's so many rats. This place sucks. Rune tier 6, I'll take it. This poison is awful, man. I really hope there isn't a boss, or at least there's a Shrine of Grace before it, because Jesus Christ. Oh, there's some summon signs. Please work. Unable to summon, there we go. Yep. Oh, is it actually summoning someone for once? For some reason, this game just never lets me summon people, and I don't know why. Probably gonna glitch out. There went my last pot. Awesome. Oh, it actually summoned someone. Oh my god. Hey, man. I'm honestly shocked. Well, I'm going in, whether he comes with me or not. Oh, crap. Okay, it's a gank fight. Whoa! Liam! Where are you, buddy? Oh. Well, there goes all my souls. I'm not going to be able to beat those things. Also, Liam, scumbag. Everyone dislike any comments from Liam. <laughs> that enemy was really cool. But no. I, I frankly just didn't do enough damage, and I can't handle a gank fight if I can't handle, like, another person. Or invite another person. <laughs> well, that's cool, but that's okay. 
I, I'm sorry, guys. I don't even want to attempt it because I know it's going to be too powerful. Oh, what? Why can't... Come on. How do I get out of here? Is it this way? <clears throat> hey, man. Hey, Crispy. Real bottom line is, I'm just not strong enough for this region. Like, I'm not supposed to be here. Yes, stolen. It actually does. Like, co-op is... There's good and bad things about co-op. When you're in co-op, obviously you can trade aggro. And it makes the fight a little bit more chill. Because it's not all on you. Especially for a gank fight like that. Like, ooh. But yes, they scale up the enemies like crazy. They also tune you down a lot. Um, like if I'm joining my friend who's just at like the Rhea Academy, it really scales me down. Okay. Well, this is the cool castle that I didn't explore yet. It's a trap! Oh, Lord, there's a lot of these things around, isn't there? Okay, well. I've beaten one of those before. Uh, not when there's this many, though. <laughs> nope. That place looks like hell. No way. Whoa. Well, that's my first time seeing lava. No. 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 I've already fought this guy like two times. I don't want to fight an R1 right now. Maybe depending on my damage. Nah, that's okay. Okay. Nah. <laughs> I'll come back for you later, buddy. <laughs> that's pretty cool, though. I've, uh, I've fought that guy many, many times before. Stop! Stop throwing rocks at me. At least that one is in the open world, which means I could fight it with my buddy. That would be fun. Actually, I could have fought it on my horse, too. Might have trivialized the whole thing, but... That's okay. Man, alive. They have a lot of summoning pools and stuff around here. Pretty cool, actually. <clears throat> there's a giant somewhere nearby. So, there's one of these statues chilling in Stormvale Castle. And if you bring the giant over, he'll stomp on it. And then you get an item out of it. So, I kind of want to see. Unless it's just this guy's, like, hammer. Come on, man, hammer. No, he's not strong enough. Okay, so there's got to be a giant nearby. Oh, I see a bear up there. Uh-oh. Maybe. And that's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Yep. Come destroy the statue, big guy. Come on. I hope. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, destroy it. Ooh. Smithing stone tier six. Let's go. Not bad. <laughs> Leave me alone. Serpentine. Gravel stone. Oh, he's got baby bears. Leave me alone, man. Yeah. I just want the goddamn map for this area. Dude. Oh, geez. I didn't know he could roar slam me. Okay. Aha! Safety. <sighs> Let's reset the bear's aggro. Ooh. Whoa. It's a strength crossbow. Huh. Interesting. Weird. 
Oh, is that like the shack? Okay. Okay. Um. Whoa. I must secretly be going up the mountain. And it just... Oh. Secretly my ass. Of course I'm going up the mountain. It's all vertical. Bad. Shut up. Uh-oh. Purple. Nope. Oh, you know what? I keep forgetting that I should be using those, um... <laughs> When I went in, oh god, when I went into that freaking poison boss fight, I really should have used, um, mages. Great. I should have used one of the items that prevents me from, uh, losing my runes. That would have been better than just running in and acting like nothing was wrong. Hello, giant thing. Don't mind me, I'm just resting. The hell is this thing? Oh. Comet Azure. Wait, isn't that like one of the best spells? I've heard lots of people refer to that one. Huh. Okay. Actually, you know what? I should check and see. What does that cost to cast? I'm guessing intelligence. Where the hell is it? Uh... No. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's intelligence. Okay, so I'll be able to end up using that at some point. Wait, is that the Kamehameha? Because, yeah, that thing is a boss killer if it is. Right? I did talk to the thing. It just gave me the spell. Yeah, I'm actually going to be going for an intelligence build down the line anyway, so. Yeah, I guess that's it. Okay. Just gives you the spell. That's pretty cool. But yeah, I most of all want to go intelligence for the uh, Moonlight Grey Sword. And it just so happens that that spell is a part of that, so. Well, this doesn't look good, but. Let's leap before we look. Shall we? Turn back. Um... Would I be able to... Yeah, I can go further. But I want to see what this does. Because it looks like this is going to go down into yet another underground area. <clears throat> yeah, I saw that, Nodak. Like, that spell is going to take me a long time to build for. Because that requires a lot of intelligence. Okay. Hero grave. Uh oh. If this is anything like the other one that I did the other day, <laughs> we're in trouble. Hey, Xiao. Uh, Yup. These hero places always seem to be full of traps. The last one had like the giant thing going like up and down throughout the whole place. This one just seems to have lava, which I'm assuming drains me, if not one shots. You know they're gonna throw a bunch of ranged enemies at us. Oh, no, there's that thing. Nah. Nah. I'll do that later. It's beautiful, but I'll do this in our time. I don't know if I want to do that right now. Gah! Didn't know it'd come all the way to the entrance. Jesus Christ. Because uh, on top of dodging that thing, 
we we'd have to get all the way to the bottom without dying and without taking too much damage and then there would be a boss so it's like <laughs> yeah draco actually there's um so the hidden walls are pretty cool because they they kind of seem to make sense within the world so any areas that have been affected by the mages guild in particular or mage academy whatever the hell they call it in this game all like the mage academy had tons of hidden walls and um yeah it's it's just hidden walls and stuff there's a hidden crystal tier that gives you unlimited fp for 30 seconds jesus is it a it's a consumable or can you make more of them or is it like you toggle it on and then it's got a long cooldown or something because my god no don't mind me well doggos mushrooms my favorite okay that's that so i saw somebody do uh where they use that kamehameha blast and uh yeah they just like annihilated a boss and i wondered like how how is this possible and I guess that's how. Skyrim, come on. Okay, that's not working. Oh, I can just climb the ladder. Okay. No, no, I haven't defeated Redan. He's still a bit too much for uh, my melee ass. I mean, I might be able to do something to him right now, but it's like, I, I just kind of unsubbed from that. I'm <laughs> just exploring and having fun. Woo! Oh, come on. I'm not going to die by a torch guy. Come on, cut it out. I like how he's the only guy in here. Oh, you can put it on your physic? Jesus, that's OP. Is that in the ethereal city? Holy bow. Good lord, that is nuts, dude. Ooh. Heavy load, it's a very heavy bow. It's not as strong as the default one, but it's got slightly more range, who cares? Interesting. Seek grace. You mean jump? No, no, I don't know where that uh, actual thing, the crystal that he's talking about is located. I just assume it's in the ethereal city because almost everything is there. It's where you're at, actually. Oh, like it's on the in the volcanic region. Ah. Cool. Yeah, that's nuts, dude. That's the thing. Like, even though I talk about, like, you know, I, I'm not looking stuff online. But I'm not, like, against, you know, you sharing that bit of information and stuff. It's like, because otherwise I don't know if I'd hear about it. Right? Give me some of that free health. I don't want to waste the flask. Not much, though, huh? Hey, man. What you doing up there? Oh. Uh, nope. Nope. Oh, there is a lot more enemies here than I thought there was. Damn, okay. Well, let's keep moving. I did see this secret, though. Whew. Place is intense as hell. There's just so many enemies. Look at that guy getting ready to jump down on me. As soon as I start climbing the ladder. Is that what you're doing? Is that your plan? Oh, it's another hand guy. Uh-oh. Oh, he enchanted his weapon too. Oh. Oh. Well, should have saw that coming. <laughs> oh, I only had a thousand souls. Not a big deal. 
I am not supposed to be in this area yet. <laughs> well, if the map's not up there... Oh, damn it. It is in this direction. Okay. <sighs> oh, it's at the top boss already? Oh. Cool. Well, I'll see if I can skip past him. He'll probably attack me with some ranged attack. Right? Imagine if he started climbing the ladder. As long as I keep looking at him, he doesn't know what to do. Okay, idiot. <laughs> Sweet. Nope. Not today. No, not today. Uh-uh. What are you guarding? What are you guys guarding? There's nothing there. Oh, there's like an item. Who cares? I just want the goddamn map, dude. Leave me alone. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, kind of ratchet about googling stuff. I, like, I try not to, it's just certain things. Like, if it's something like that where it's obvious, you know, it's like, oh, okay, it's, uh... Oh, Lord. Where it's, uh, a boss at the top of the freaking volcano, it's like... Who's not gonna come across that, you know? Oh god. Oh jeez. Yeah, you went full mage build. No wonder you're destroying everything. I don't blame you, but... Oh god. Hello. Oh no, he does madness. Okay. Well, there's this way, but then there's also a bridge that I saw behind us. You guys are not guarding your poison grease very well. Well, seems like climbing the bridge is the right way to go. So long, suckers. Don't do it. Man, this place is gonna suck when I actually like start doing it legit instead of just skipping everything. Ah, finally. Dude, could you imagine seeing a blood stain on this bridge like someone just falls off before they even got here? Oh, look at that. Climb the ladder or air block. Excuse you? Let me look at my map, please. Damn it, seriously? Wait. No, it's still this direction then for the map. Jeez Louise. <sighs> yeah, yeah, like I'm gonna be using a mage on my second run too. Whoa! Hello, weirdo! You're gonna be too powerful, aren't you? There's no way in hell I'm gonna be able to beat whatever this thing is. Nope, he takes out half my health. In one swing. So long, sucker. Alley-oop. 
Don't do it. Oh, I have seen people use that ability in PvP. I know for a fact that that is what we'll end up getting off that boss. That's really cool. That guy is going to suck. Look, guys, it's a Korok seed from uh, Zelda. He's dancing around like crazy. Destroyed by Nightbot, son. I think he comes right here, right? Hopefully. Seems to dance around at the top there for a little while. Aw, oh, damn it. Are you kidding? I missed him. Come here, you. Yeah, whatever. He dances up here for a while. There you go. Why? Why do they always have that move? These goddamn puppet things, dude. They're the worst enemy in the game. Like, I don't know why the devs were just like, yeah, that's okay. Make it so that they just spin their weapons around like crazy, and then they just get you in a stun lock. There's <laughs> nothing I can do. Well, that's okay. We didn't have any souls, so it's not a big deal. Oh, damn. Lava castle galore. Jeez. That enemy is actually, like, so cool. The fact that we fight him at the top of the volcano, that's just so awesome. Oh, no. I know there's worse. I'm just saying, like, they're, they're just so annoying, you know? Because it's like, they're so, like, weak, but then it's like... They can pull that move out of their ass, and then you're just done. What I need is, uh, I need, like, super heavy-ass armor so I can be, like, an actual tank. Okay, um... Oh, the map is actually right over there. Oh, hell yeah. There. Oh, the hand things. Oh, God, okay. God, my frames are draining up here. Stop it! Get some help. Well, that was a dirty sneak. Sneaky, sneaky, sneak. I don't care. Try all you will. Huh. Destroyed. Ah, hell to the yeah, dude. This map is not helping me that much. My God, what is all this crap? Jesus. <laughs> There's a lot more lava area than I thought. Oh, because this is going to be the Lord's Castle, isn't it? Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Whoo, doggy. What a crazy area. Well, uh, you know what? I should go and maybe, oh, hello. Lord Rykard, if this putrid field of death is what your blasphemy would bring, then I can no longer abide. No one can. Cool, man. Like poetry. I want to uh, take a quick peek at the castle itself, see if it marks down my map or something. We got lots of gold runes, too. Jesus, why are these hands normal enemies now? Oh! <laughs> Sneaky! Wow. This is so goddamn cool, dude. These legacy dungeons are nuts. 
Hey man. Oh, you're looking creepy. Oh, he's stretching. Whoa. Now this is cool. Yeah, that's cool. A giant that's a mage, whatever. Volcano Manor, that's just what it's called. Damn, dude, this place is so cool. It's like Resident Evil 7 or something. Or uh, Village, I mean. Uh oh, are you evil? No, they look good. Whoa, this is interesting. All the chaos, and then in here it's kind of beautiful. Hello. Aren't you precocious? We rarely receive visitors to the Volcano Manor without invitation. Fascinating. And not unlike another guest we had long ago. So, tarnished. Have you ever harbored doubts about the burden of grace and the dogmatic ramblings of the fingers? If you have, why not join the Volcano Manor? And fight with us, rise with us, against the Erd Tree. Oh? I can be evil? Let's save that. I kind of low-key want to join them. Okay, well, it's all kind of blocked and stuff, so. You can destroy the chairs, but the table's too big. This place is so freaking dark, dude. Can you guys get some better lighting in here? Secret wall? No, can't even, can't even attack in here, actually. Oh, now I can. Uh-oh. What are they fighting? Oh. Oh, that's a mage, so I'm probably dead. That's okay. We'll try. Or get almost one shot. His weapon has bleeding. Oh, I barely do damage to you. Oh, he's got a cool weapon. Whoa, what the hell? These chairs are getting in my way, dude. That's such a cool weapon. <laughs> let me drink from my... No, let me... At least that attack is really slow and can't do much. I say, and then he gets all up in my face. Goodbye. Sweet, we got his weapon. <laughs> That's so weird. Oh, is that a Bloodborne weapon? I, I wouldn't know. I never played Bloodborne. I tried to, but... That's such a cool weapon, that's so weird. Oh, it's actually strength dex, huh. 28 strength, wait, what's my strength? 12, so I don't have enough even if I two-hand it. That's really cool, though. And then I guess the weapon art would be, yeah, that thing. So long as you hold it, that's so cool. Damn. What was he guarding? Smithing stone, of course. Yeah, that guy was kind of slow and clunky, so... Just had to dodge around a bit, that's all. Cool. Um, let's see. I guess... Oh. I wonder if that's significant. Probably not, but... 
All right, and then there's over here. I don't think we can get over there until we get through the city, though, right? But I think this is like a snow area, if I'm not mistaken. Well, let's go back to the round table and see if um, see if I can upgrade anything. Pizza cutter. Ah, yes. Truly glorious. I kind of want to upgrade these uh, these dudes, but I don't know when I'm gonna get the mimic summon. I can hear it from across the wind, the howling. Oh, she's just talking about the angry guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. Oh, you know what? I got enough materials to level this, so I may as well. Ooh, just barely enough of those. Uh, one. Okay. I only got one of those, so let's not use that yet, because I want to save those for the mimic. Yeah, yeah, I figured that they'd force me to beat the city in order to progress to the last area. Which is going to suck, because that area is so goddamn strong. Okay. Oh, yeah, we ended up getting that bell earlier, too. Let's see. Did that just increase? Oh, it increased her shop. Okay. Um... Oh, that's... Oh, you can buy infinite of these. That's pretty cool. That's the one that the enemies keep using. Cool, cool. Neat weapons. I don't think any of that's new, though. Yeah, so it gave us that. That's actually really cool. You know what? I'll buy those. Let me just waste my souls. I don't care. <laughs> that's pretty neat. Uh, do they count as a weapon or a consumable? Consumable. Figured. Oh, I have bigger ones, too. Well, at least... Use FP. Oh, okay. So it uses it. Well, I mean... Might be cool. Might be something worth trying. Um... Oh, that's what you meant, Nodak. Like, it's not necessarily required to go to the last biome to beat the city, but that's where you get the mimic. Okay. Yikes. That's scan. Yeah. Sweet. Um. You know what? What do you say we just, for old time's sake, attempt Redan? I got nothing to lose. Like, I don't have any souls, so... Let's see, uh, see if I'm a bit better scaled for him now. I'm going in this with the intention to lose. Just saying. Champion. But we could try it. Welcome. At least once. The stars of before we, uh, the call the stream. Because I gotta take a quick break and then, uh, Are you the festival? And then get some food. Ugh. Before we begin. No, no, no. You already showed me all that, dude. But no. oh, Damn, that story took him all night to say. Okay. I mean, I'm still melee, so this is gonna suck. The real bottom line is, will I be able to tank any hits from him? Probably not. Okay. No, I know, Nodak, but the problem was that, um, yeah, fighting him melee just sucks. <laughs> There's no way getting around it. <laughs> oh, God, do I really want to do this? Okay. I should have tried to summon somebody, but that's okay. Doesn't matter. Okay.
Just to be safe. That used to one-shot me, so I should be being more careful, but that's okay. Okay. Now we can at least get close and personal. I did get him halfway before, but... Staying behind his butt. Now, that's that's the difficult thing, because he just turns around so freaking often. Like this. Like... No, he can still two-shot me, so if he pulls out his wombo combo, I'm dead meat. We'll still attempt, but... Whoa, easy, buddy. Summon more children. Don't do it. That one two combo can just two shot me. He really likes me. Whoa, easy, buddy. All right, I need to get more summons. We're doing okay, but most of all, just because he hasn't hit me yet, I've gotten l pretty lucky. <sighs> oh, that's what you mean, Nodak. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, it's funny how he might be easier by not using summons just because of the fact that he like goes all over the freaking place. I just wish it didn't spread these summons out so much. They help for sure, but And there it is. I'm already dead. Yeah. Oh well. That's okay. I just wanted to attempt it. I think maybe if I pushed it enough, I could beat him, but it's like, nah. It would just take too long. I might try that cheese tactic that you're talking about, but that would suck in general, because then I'd have to get up close and personal with him, with him shooting at me the whole time. He's just like such a bad boss as a melee character. Like, it's really too bad. But that's okay. That was fun. Good attempt. <clears throat> What are you talking about, Strange? You mean just using the bell? I was literally just summoning things. Like, that That battle is just a weird one. It's just not very good for, um, for melee. Oh, can you use, like, your own summons? But yeah, I, I can't use the Azure's Comet. I'm sure that would destroy him as any magic would. But, anyways, we'll, we'll get him at one point. I just gotta be pretty dang overtuned in order to fight him. Or we could attempt the cheese that you were talking about, where we just fight him solo and sneak behind him, but... That's okay. I'm not too concerned about it. Anyways, I guess that'll do it for today, guys. Thank you for coming out. Really appreciate it. I had fun, and hope you guys did too. Still love this game. Still got lots to grind, but... God, that boss is gonna just suck. Maybe we'll try and, like, just beat him next time, but that'll probably be, like, two hours of me just fighting him. 